Everyone would certainly like to have at least one eye to look at the realities of some historical era. Not to mention the fact that he himself decides the fate of the world in the role of a ruler or military leader. Well, we will not give you a time machine for rent, but we will offer a whole list of the best strategies that can, to some extent, boast historical accuracy and affect different periods of human history. Panzer Corps is the result of an attempt to resurrect the much-loved 90s war game Panzer General. The attempt turned out to be very successful. The main advantage of the strategy is a skillful balancing between accessibility and complexity. Understanding the intricacies of the game is not difficult, but you will have to use your brains hard so as not to suffer heavy losses. You have to participate in both real battles and fictional ones, for example you can send the Germans to the USA. You can fully unleash the full potential of the troops and your own in campaigns for the Wehrmacht. The most interesting of them will take you through the entire Second World War and give you the opportunity to make some changes in the course of history. For example, if you are puzzled by how to quickly deal with France, it will be possible to land in Britain as early as 1940. Sudden Strike is a series of military historical strategies entirely dedicated to World War II and has found loyal fans due to its historical correctness. Victory is guaranteed not by quantity, but by quality. Competent and varied tactics, the ability to use the advantages of the landscape and various types of troops for different purposes. There is no traditional trade and construction here, but there are ample opportunities to create your own modifications and maps. An interesting damage system that takes into account the smallest nuances, up to sensitivity to a certain type of projectile. With all these charms, Sudden Strike does not require huge performance from the computer. Stronghold invites you to travel back in time and play the role of a medieval town planner. The English king was captured by the barbarians. His vassals turned out to be people without conscience and honor and immediately tore apart his possessions among themselves. You have to acquire allies in order to rescue the king from captivity and restore justice. The plot of the game is based on real historical facts and tells about the struggle of Prince John with the barons during the Third Crusade. Rise of Nations has a distinct imprint of Sid Meier's civilization. The project cannot boast of any striking differences from the classic RTS, so you can get comfortable here without much difficulty. We build cities, develop technologies, study the world and watch how our wards go through a journey of about four millennia. What sets Rise of Nations apart from others are the campaigns. You do not have to follow a predetermined scenario. Individual provinces are marked on the global map, which can be captured in any order. We, the revolution. The French Revolution forever changed the political landscape of Europe. But, for some reason, the creators of most mainstream historical games preferred to deal with the era of the Napoleonic Wars that followed it. This gap is designed to close the indie strategy we, the revolution. Here you have to try yourself in the chair of a judge of the tribunal, who has the power to decide the fate of the accused, sending them to prison, to freedom, or under the guillotine. But remember that every action has consequences, and careless actions in an era of intrigue and terror can lead you to the scaffold yourself. Romance of the Three Kingdoms 14 The era of the Three Kingdoms is a difficult period for ancient China, when three states clash for power. This time is quite often romanticized by writers in their writings, and it is also sometimes covered in games. As you understand, Romance of the Three Kingdoms, Roman 14, is a strategy that allows you to feel the atmosphere of that era. You have to manage one of the countries on the map, divide it into hexagons, capture neighboring lands, and solve other affairs of the ruler. The game will please the presence of various historical figures. Empire of Sin Prohibition and the Golden Age of the Mafia all intertwine in 1920s Chicago and you'll see it for yourself in Empire of Sin, a strategy RPG. You will try on the costume of one of 14 criminal gangsters. Some of them, by the way, are taken from real history, and try to build your empire. It is obvious that the methods of doing business here are not the most honest. You have to take control of various buildings, bars, casinos and so on, intimidate opponents, and conduct fierce firefights, made in turn-based form. Workers and Resources Soviet Republic allows you to plunge into the not-so-distant past, to the times when the USSR still existed. 
In this economic strategy, you will build your republic. You have to build cities, engage in industrialization, and do everything to make your country rich and prosperous. In favor of historicity, here are realistic landscapes, architecture of buildings, as well as recognizable modes of transport. The game itself does not limit the ways of doing business. You can extract resources and sell them abroad, or build an independent republic. Victoria 2 Victoria 2 is a grand strategy game from Paradox Interactive, which you have already met thanks to Crusader Kings 2. These offspring of theirs are similar, however, the events of Victoria cover the period from 1836 to 1936, inviting the player to take control of one of the 200 states that existed in that time and bring it to prosperity in various ways. During that hundred years, many events took place in the world, and here they will be reflected in the passage. True, you can follow them, or you can rewrite history. Imperator, Rome and another strategy from Paradox Interactive throws us further into the past, at the time of the founding of the Roman Empire. An abundance of factions to choose from, variable and varied gameplay with an abundance of mechanics, historicity, and the ability to rewrite history, or follow what is written on Wikipedia. All these are your options in the game. Gamers note that Imperator. Rome turned out to be weaker than its counterparts, since some of the mechanics were taken from them, but fans of the genre should play it. Dawn of Man Tired of fighting in strategies with swords and firearms? In Dawn of Man, your units will be armed with spears and clubs, and instead of beautiful cities, you will be met by dull huts built from everything that comes to hand. Yes, this game throws us into the era of ancient people and offers to see how people lived in the Stone Age. Spoiler, it's hard. Responsibilities for ensuring the survival of Australopithecus, for the development of technology, for hunting and other difficult matters will fall on your shoulders. It's nice that there are strategies even for such an unpopular historical period. Praetorians As a legate during the reign of Julius Caesar, you will have to survive the civil war, clashes with the Gauls and other Germanic tribes, see how the Roman Empire began its path to greatness. At your disposal will be whole legions of well-trained soldiers, hardened by the flames of battle, and units with special abilities that raise the morale of the army. The Praetorians are well-implemented features that allow you to achieve tactical superiority in battles. History buffs will be pleased to see authentic weapons and equipment. The Entente Gold The game will plunge you into the bloody events of the First World War which showed us the first serious bombings and what can be achieved with the help of tanks, will lead you through the most significant battles and even allow you to rewrite history in your own way. You can choose one of the countries participating in the conflict and try yourself as a commander. When choosing, you need to take into account that the developers tried to keep a balance, so each faction has its pros and cons. In general, in the Entente you need to do everything the same as in other strategies. But keep in mind that the advisors, of which there are already two, can break your whole strategy, just allow it, so they will immediately train the soldiers themselves and send them to die in a battle that cannot be won. Empire Earth The developers of the first part of the Empire Earth series set themselves a truly global goal, to cover the entire history of mankind and even look 200 years ahead. Inside, we will see almost everything the same as in Age of Empires, build, develop, defend, and attack. There are four campaigns in the game for Greece, England, Germany, and Russia. The Art of Conquest expansion adds campaigns for Rome, the Republics of Asia, and the United States. In the second part, you will be able to share the fate of the Korean people, then experience the rise of the Prussian Empire and its transformation into Germany, after which you will watch the development of the United States. The Art of Supremacy expansion unlocks several more civilizations and campaigns. If your favorite game is not included in this list, write in the comments. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to our channel, watch our other videos, press like, turn on notifications, and you will always be aware of what to play today.